Hi guys, um, anticipating the release of the new game tomorrow morning, I'm going to be streaming um, a campaign as one of the new four new factions. If any of you guys are my subscribers and you're interested in seeing this kind of content, uh, it's up to you to choose who I play as, other than the High Elves, I'm not playing the High Elves. No, I'm joking, if loads of people randomly said, play as the High Elves, I'll play as the High Elves. But uh, if people just let me know in the comments or in a message or however you want, and off the gobbos go. However you'd like to let me know, uh, just let me know in the uh, comments section. And uh, tomorrow I'll be streaming all day on YouTube playing a campaign as that faction. And in the meantime, enjoy this battle, this ranked battle replay, where I have an army of entirely goblins. Hey guys. Bringing you another Total War Warhammer ranked online battle. Today I will be playing as the Orcs and Goblins, or more specifically, the Goblins. My opponent will be playing as the Wood Elves. So basically, I decided to try and bring an entirely Goblin army. Now, this means you can field a lot of troops because Goblins are shite. But they are also hilarious and amazing, and this is a good battle, so... I'll run through the army comps quickly, and then we'll let things kick off. So, for my main line, I have a lot of goblins. There you go. That's done, isn't it? A lot of night goblins. Sneaky little night goblins. They really aren't the best melee combatant. I've got the eight peak loonies, who I think are unbreakable, so they're actually awesome. Um, and one unit of goblin spears. So it's mainly night goblins. I went for a night goblin-themed army. My leader is Skarsnik. I think he's the original Night Goblin. He's got a squig and he's backed up by a Goblin Big Boss on a spider. We also have a... What's this called? A Doom Diver Catapult. And we're going to watch some goblins uh, come into land. Actually does pretty good damage to infantry. Um, on my flanks, I have two sort of squig contingents. So I've got these two squig hoppers. Looking very cool. Having a scratch. Led by a goblin big boss on a wolf. And on this side, I've just got some uh, feral squigs. Just hopping around. So... Straight away, he um, he doesn't seem to want to go for a big engagement, which I think's pretty uh, pretty pussy of him, to be honest with you. I've just got goblins. What's he afraid of? I mean, yes, there is a giant spider. But, you know, once again, manned by goblins, you know. This uh, giant spider is the Arachnoc Queen, and she can spawn spiderlings. So what I'm doing here is his skirmishers are coming out. His glade riders with hagbane tips, which is poison. Coming out to try and sort of uh, skirm and do some damage, but I'll just spawn spiderlings on them, slow them down, poison them, you know, do a bit of damage. But this guy, he just retreats. A lot of people that play this game, uh, they just want to win. That's all they really care about. They don't care about, like, having fun. They just play ranked battles to win. And I think that's lame as hell, but that's their business, whatever, you know. <clears throat> I'd rather try stuff out, bring a goblin army with, uh, you know, doom divers. Look at the guy, he's great, he's got goggles. And they've got spikes on their head, which is also hilarious. So there's going to be a fair bit of chasing and pissing around at the start, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to speed things up. We'll run through his army build. He's got a glade lord on a forest dragon. Forest dragons are amazing looking. And it's like a mobile artillery, you know, the ranged power. He's got war dancers with Azrae Spear, who pretty cool. They are uh, anti-large. Got a load of Eternal Guards, including the Winterheart Guard, which are unbreakable spear units for the Wood Elves. He's got the Firebark Elders, who are freaking awesome as well. They're like Treekin, but they're just always on fire. Some magic shit. And he's got a lot of Glade Guard, or three units of Glade Guard, which are just Elven Archers. And... Here's someone you've got to worry about. A spell singer on a great eagle with the law of life, which means she has... <clears throat> let's see what spell she has. Yep, she's got the Dwellers Below, which is a brutal damage spell that got buffed recently and seems to be 
the only thing anyone ever uses. And she's got Earth Blood and Regrowth, which can heal her friendly units. <clears throat> so these guys are actually taking the uh, Doom Diver, but we're just going to speed things up because they're just a nuisance. They don't do anything. Squig's just chasing them off, you know, whatever. These guys will fire some uh, gobos, but I think the gobos are going to miss. Yeah, kill some ac kill some of my spiderlings, which is fine, because I don't really care about them. That's a good hit, though. See you later. So, yeah, right. We'll speed things up. This guy's just annoying. He just plays like everyone else, just tries to just buy for time. Like, really afraid of battling like a man, you know? He's literally got an army of goblins against him, and it's just ridiculous way to play so he brings forward his forest dragon because you know oh how can i get hurt in the sky and he's obviously getting the goblins getting the absolute suicidal goblins launched at him but the whole time he's just trying to poke my leader down trying to kill scarsnick which is just lame it's just boring whatever and then he actually has the really smart idea of corner camping which is where you go up to the border here so that i can't get around but he doesn't even do a very good job of doing that to be honest with you he just sort of parks them up in a line at the back bizarre anyway this guy's taking quite a lot of damage actually from the uh doom diver which is awesome uh these things are just trying to harass my doom diver but then i've got a uh, got spear detachment right here we go <laughs> main engagement's about to pop off we've got the squigs coming around the side we've got the uh, squig hoppers here if the squigs and stuff can get into the back of these uh, archers, then we're going to have a good old time. Spawn some spiderlings here. No idea why. Um, I was trying to do something, probably. The Arachnorok's going to come in, taking arrows. I mean, these war dancers are just going to trounce the goblins. Oh, wow. The Arachnorok is such a beast. He uh, nets Skarsnik here. He just puts so much focus on killing Skarsnik. And then, finally, the squig hoppers get into the archers. Which, I mean, you can't beat that. You cannot beat that. And the Arachnorok's basically broken those archers off the field. These guys are just going to get munched by the squigs. Which is awesome. Squigs aren't really that great, I don't think. But, like, when you can, if you can get them into sort of, like, unprepared units and, you know, archers and stuff, then they will just... I think they eat people, you know? Let's see if someone gets eaten. But they definitely do backflips, which is just <laughs> amazing. And then we're going to get a nice rear charge here. Go, Squigs, go! Like I said, I don't think Squigs are the best. Oh, Dwellers below, whatever, don't really care. I've got plenty of goblins. I haven't got that much of value, you know, for him to punish. Got the Fanatics going off here, look. It's just <laughs> absolute poor aim, but whatever. Um, I think at this stage, yeah, so I think the Glade Lord, like, tries to fight the Arachnorok Queen and just gets absolutely wrecked. These brave goblins are going to go up against these fiery trees. Probably isn't going to go too well for them, but you got to give it to them. They're committed. And the problem is, goblins retreat a lot. Like, these guys, they haven't even lost much health, but they're going to retreat. But they'll be back. They'll be back. What's this he's casting? F giving them more armor, which is, I suppose, a smart move against squigs, because squigs are armor-piercing, but, you know, it's too little too late. The Ragnarok Queen's going to come in here and actually do a lot of damage to these... Uh, these trees that one set gets absolutely sent flying and they're gonna retreat and uh, this guy he thought he could hide in the fucking corner like an absolute wet job but um, one of the downsides is if you do that and your units retreat units retreat to the edge of the map 
And uh, if there's a good distance between them and the edge of the map, they'll come back. Whereas if they're right next to the edge of the map, then they'll just uh, they'll just retreat straight off the battlefield and not be seen again. Send the squigs in to eat some of the elves when they run away. Very nice. And the only people left here are the Winterheart Guards. There's only 22 of them. And they're getting absolutely squigged on. Not a good day to be a Winterheart Guard. I think the Forest Dragon comes in here at this point. Yeah. Mash some goblins up. But what am I going to do? Just going to send the Arachnorok Queen on him. Which does a lot of damage. She's going to retreat, but then the uh, spell sing is sort of stuck here. And I mean, look at the damage that the um, Arachnorok's going to do. And I think my goblin, yeah, my goblin big boss here, he's coming back in. And he's going to get a charge off as well, which is good. Which is going to destroy her. She's she's shattered now. And uh, so is the Glade Lord. How many of these guys we've got left? Two of them. <laughs> bit abandoned one last charge from everything and there we go gobbo's rule and i typed to the guy in chat i was like gobbo's rule mate taking me it took me a a couple battles to get a win with just goblins uh but you know absolutely worth it in the end because uh, it's a fun army build you know it's it's cool to actually like try out different sort of things a lot of the armies have so many different builds and options, but you only see a certain few get brought because they're the only ones that are really viable. So it's been fun to, you know, mess around. And uh, as always, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, if you guys want me to do certain builds and try out certain things, I'd be more than happy to do it. I'm willing to do anything for a laugh. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, I'm the boss, as the goblins say. Peace out.